and gentlemen, on behalf of Christopher and Diane, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Grimsdyke Hotel, which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. We're all gathered here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Christopher Charles Wigley and Diane Elizabeth Cotchin. And if anyone here knows of any lawful impediment to their marriage taking place, you must declare it now. Is <coughs> 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 yes, Diane to be married to Christopher? Yes. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Thank you. and Diane, before you're joined together in matrimony, I have to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the vows you're about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into to the exclusion of all others. It's also a solemn union to provide love and friendship help and comfort that each of you would willingly give to the other, both in times of joy and in times of trouble. I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. All you have to do is repeat the words after me. And Christopher, I'm going to start with you first. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any of any lawful reason. Lawful reason why I why I Christopher Charles Wigley Christopher Charles Wigley may not be joined may not be joined in matrimony in matrimony to Diane Elizabeth Hutch. Diane Elizabeth Hutch. Diane. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful reason. Of any lawful reason. Why I, Diane Elizabeth Cotchin. Why I, Diane Elizabeth Cotchin. May not be joined in matrimony. May not not be joined in matrimony to Christopher Charles Wickham. Christopher Charles Wickham. Christopher and Diane, now we've reached the stage in your marriage ceremony when you are to make and declare your contract of marriage to each other. You will exchange your wedding rings and become husband and wife together. So if I could ask you to turn and face each other. Christopher, do you take Diane to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Please repeat after me, but to Diane. I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here present to witness that I Christopher Charles Wigley that I to witness, to witness that, I, that I Christopher Charles Wigley do take the do take the Diane Elizabeth Crutchley Diane Elizabeth Crutchley to be my lawful to be my lawful wedded wife wedded wife for better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So long as we both show it. Um, so, so long as we show it. Both show it. Show it. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> gold there, mate. <laughs> Diane, do you take Christopher to be your lawful wedded husband? Please repeat after me but to Christopher. I call upon I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present to witness that I to witness that I Diane Elizabeth Crutchley. Diane Elizabeth Crutchley. Do take the do take the Christopher Charles Wigley. Christopher Charles Wigley. To be my lawful to be my lawful wedded husband. Wedded husband. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So long as we both show love. So long as we both show love. 
ladies and gentlemen, a wedding ring is the ancient and the traditional way of sealing the contract this couple have just made. It is the unbroken circle which symbolises unending and everlasting love. And it is the public outward sign to the world the lifelong promises you've just made to each other. onto the third finger of her left hand and hold it there for me and say to her, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And as a token. And as a token. Of our marriage. Of our marriage. Hold it there and say to him, Christopher, I give you this oh, ring as a symbol of my love and as a token of our marriage. She's got all four hands with her hands. Christopher and Diane, may these rings, which by long tradition form the seal to marriage, be a reminder of the vows you've made today. For in the presence of everyone here, you've consented to be joined in matrimony. You've symbolized your marriage by the giving and the receiving of rings. And I know that over many years to come, you'll look back on this day with pride and with happiness. And it now gives me the greatest of pleasure to say, you are legally husband and wife together, Christopher,